Why has the exchange rate gap in Argentina turned negative, making it cheaper to buy dollars on the market than through the Central Bank of Argentina? Let's explore it in today's video. In yesterday's video, we explained what this unusual monetary phenomenon means and its implications. It's rare, but Argentina is experiencing it now. The exchange rate gap. The difference between the market exchange rate and the official exchange rate for the peso and the dollar has become negative. Today, we'll analyze why this has happened. As we discussed earlier, the gap between the blue dollar, parallel market rate, and the official dollar rate started at historically high levels when Javier Millet assumed the presidency. The blue dollar rate was three times higher than the official rate. But over time, this gap has narrowed and even turned negative. This occurred because the blue dollar rate has been falling, meaning the peso has appreciated against the blue dollar, while the official exchange rate has been rising, indicating a depreciation of the peso relative to the official dollar. To understand why the gap turned negative, we need to explore both trends. Why the peso has appreciated in the market and why it has depreciated officially. Why has the official exchange rate depreciated? The first decision Javier Millet made as president of Argentina was to align the official exchange rate with market realities. When he took office, the exchange rate gap was historically high. To address this, Millet significantly devalued the official rate increasing it from approximately 370 pesos per dollar to 800 pesos per dollar. At that point, the market exchange rate was around 1,000 pesos per dollar. Consequently, the gap was already reduced considerably. From December 2023, Millet introduced a crawling peg policy. This meant the official exchange rate would devalue by an additional 2% monthly. As a result, the official rate has climbed beyond 1,000 pesos per dollar, explaining its depreciation relative to the dollar. Why has the peso appreciated in the market? The peso's market appreciation reflects an increased relative demand for pesos over dollars. People demand money for two main reasons. As a medium of exchange, to make payments, or as a store of value, to save wealth. The higher demand for pesos for payments is tied to two factors increased real incomes. During the second half of 2024, Argentina's economy began recovering, with real wages rising. As real incomes increase, people usually spend more, driving higher the demand for pesos. Inflation and monetary supply. Since July, the monetary base has grown at the same pace as inflation, about 14 to 15 percent. This balanced growth means that any increase in the demand for pesos due to the higher price level, has been matched by new money supply, preventing excess pesos in circulation. Additionally, there's been a rise in the demand for pesos as a store of value. Despite persistent inflation, people has been using pesos as a store of value by investing them in financial products with positive real returns, such as government bonds or bank deposits with interest rates higher than inflation. This strategy has been profitable due to market exchange rate stability, encouraging what's known as the carry trade selling dollars, buying pesos, investing them, and later converting them back into dollars, often with gains. Risks of reversal. While the carry trade has driven peso appreciation, it's a fragile equilibrium. If the peso depreciates significantly in the future, the carry trade could reverse, causing a rapid flight from pesos to dollars. This could lead to a sharp peso devaluation. Institutional implications. The current negative exchange rate gap raises questions about lifting currency controls. While the negative gap suggests the market might support such a move, the risk of a carry trade reversal could make authorities cautious. In the next video, we'll explore what additional conditions might be necessary for Miley's government to confidently remove currency controls. Stay tuned for more insights into this fascinating and rare monetary phenomenon in Argentina.